guys welcome back to my channel um in today's video i am going to be showing y'all how i put on this wig how i wet it how i did these baby hairs all that good stuff okay so if you want to see how i got these gorgeous curls like look at them if you want to see how i got these curls just keep watching be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything that i post also follow me on instagram at the lovely mimi I'm going to put it on the screen and I'm also going to put it in the description box just to, you know, stay in the loop. I know a few of you have transitioned to my Instagram when you realize that I was going to be posting less on YouTube. And I appreciate that because y'all get to see what I be doing when I'm not on YouTube. But let me stop talking and let's just get into the video. So I had already installed it and I tried to film a video initially installing it. It, it was not gonna turn out right. So I was just like, let me install this off camera, but it's been a couple of days and it's time to touch it up. I'm just gonna show you how I put it on or how I put it on. I'm using the Ghost Bond. I know y'all probably used this before. This is like a common glue. I love it. And then we're just going to Then I'm gonna take my Gotta Be Glue Free Spray. This is like in everybody's wig kit by now. Just gonna spray it just to give it that extra hold. So after we sprayed it, we just want to tie it down with our scarf. And then we want to just let it. So this is how it's looking. Um, my baby hairs are just still molded because I did them previously, but we're going to fix them um, at the end. I just want to show you guys how it looks before I wet it. So I did wet it this morning and this is like the end of the day curls. These are really cute, honestly. If you look at it, the curl pattern is intact. Like, this is no product on it at all. This is how they are looking. So 
So if you like your hair big, you could just keep it like this and just go on with your day. I like my hair a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna wet it and just show you how it does. But first, I want you to see like the full volume of the hair. So I'm gonna be taking my Easy Detangler, this type of brush, and I'm just going to just comb it out. Y'all see it combs so easily. It doesn't get tangled or anything. And it's gonna swell, it's gonna get really big. So if you like big hair, this is probably the wig for you. I know that it is still hot. If you live in Texas, I live in Texas. It's It was 101 today. Like when I got in my car after work, it was 101. Like, no ma'am. But I still think big hair is nice. So this is the side that I just brushed out and this is the side after a day after being wet. As you can see, it gets drastically bigger. So this is the hair. It's really huge, y'all. It is, look at it. So this is how my hair is looking. I just got out of the shower. As you can see, it is still dripping wet. So I really love it like this and once it's dry, it gets a little bit bigger, but for the most part, it's maintainable. Whereas you saw it before, how it was. So to lock in my curls, I use the Coconut Oil Weightless Hydrating Oil Mist. I didn't use this this morning, but I'm just gonna spray it just to keep it having that shine and also to give it a little moisture. And be sure that you're scrunching it up. If you do choose to dry it, make sure you're just doing this when you dry it. Um, I forgot why, what, why this is good, but yeah. Just make sure you are squeezing it up. Some at the top. And this smells so good. We're also gonna be using Miracle Curls by Ozzy. Looks like this. And I really just open it and I just take two fingers full and I just rub it in and I put it at the top, you know, just to lay the curls down and the excess, I just kind of massage into the hair. As y'all can see, I am not combing it. I do not comb out these curls. I don't do anything. I let it air dry and however it air dries is how it's gonna be. And most of the time I like it. Let's them. get into these baby hairs. So I attempted, I attempted some baby hairs, but we're just going to rejuvenate them cause they are, hmm, a little dead. I'm gonna be using my 24 hour edge tamer in the flavor peaches. Oh my God, y'all, it smells so good. I think even um, 24 hour edge tamer this, this is the stuff, like regardless of what type of hair you have, this will lay it down and will hold. Then I'm gonna just be using a regular edge brush, you know. So I did um, initially, I'm gonna insert some clips. I did use my curling iron to, you know, curl my baby hairs, but after that, I was on my own. So um, this one, I mean, that one's pretty okay. I guess this side is okay, not even gonna lie. This side is okay. It's just this side, cause like, what is that? So, I'm just gonna be taking that, combing that out. All right. You want to get you some edge tamer, like that. 
And then you want to take your finger and you just want to roll it. And you want to spray some of this. Okay, so since this part messed up, we're going to get our little curler and we're just going to redo it. So it does have product in it, so if it doesn't curl as much, it's understandable. But I was like, we just got to do something different with this because I wasn't feeling the location it was in. So I'm going to take it. I wanted to curl this way. Curl it like this. <laughs> Let's do it again. Okay. It's curled a little bit. Take our gel. Now we're just gonna take our scarf and we're just going to wrap it and let it dry. Okay, so it's been about five to seven minutes. So we can just untie. And this is how we are looking. Just let it down. So baby hairs are extremely, extremely optional. You do not have to do baby hairs. I just did it because I've been really, I don't know, feeling baby hairs. It's been a period where I just did not even want to fool with baby hairs, but now I just, I don't know. I just want a lot of baby hairs. This is probably one of the most softest wigs ever. I don't know if y'all can tell just by looking at it, but honestly, if y'all could feel it right now, it feels like a freaking cotton ball. Like I am in love with this and to obtain this curl pattern, I know that, I know because I've seen it. I've seen so many YouTubers use a spray bottle. I'm so anti spray bottle because it doesn't give you the pressure of a shower, you know? So like showers, like you're standing and then the water's coming down like this and it's going from your roots all the way to the end of the hair. And then I just use a dimming brush in the shower along with it just so the water can run through all the hair. I feel like when you use a spray bottle, it's not the same pressure, it's not the same amount of water. Like, it just doesn't give it that full effect. Therefore, you're just partially, you know, dampening your hair and you can't really, you're not able to see the full, you know, curls, if that makes any sense. I'm not knocking anybody who uses that because I know it's super convenient and there's been times that I didn't really wanna get naked and get in the shower just for videos or just to do my hair, like I understand. But if you want that full curl effect like this, you need to go from top to bottom. You need to let the water get in your hair. I didn't bleach any knots, all I did y'all, all I did was use a little foundation and that's just like a standard that I use. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I just feel like I wanted it to you know, match my skin. I also use the stocking cap method and it's been holding up pretty well for me. So for the density, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for sure. For the texture, 
these curls are come on y'all 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 for sure for the shedding i honestly would say that it shedded a little bit just because of me brushing it out now, you don't have to brush it out i just brush it out so i can wet it and it doesn't tangle in the shower so for the tangleness i'll give it a 9 out of 10 because it did shed a little bit and i think that was on me so solid 9 out of 10. if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video Thank you.